Hi everybody, this is Deepu. This is Kaushal. And this is Aditya. The issue that we're going to discuss today is how smartphone companies in India are faring in the digital space. The two companies that we'd like to talk about is one is Samsung and one is Micromax, who are the market leaders in India for smartphones. Yes, coming into Samsung, as you all know, it's one of the biggest players in smartphone category in India. It is one of the pioneer which actually took up our mobile market sales from just over 250 million last year and is poised to grow to 326 million for the year 2016. So talking about this particular topic, it's more to do with the new launch which they did very recently, even before uh, launching iPhone 6. This is all about Samsung Alpha phone and Note 4 smartphone. So uh, when they launched it, they launched it with a price bracket of 60,000 rupees. And they did a brilliant campaign. Of course, they are saying it's a brilliant campaign, but we have a different insight to it. So what is it about? So yeah, they created a hashtag called hash do you note. And basically this was made to engage the customers by making them submit photographs or their doodles or their stories with their note, like how creative they can be. So all they have to do is just upload the pic on Twitter and just tag it by putting the hashtag hash do you note. So if you just look at the videos that Samsung have uploaded on their website and on their YouTube, channel which they said were inspired by the stories submitted by the users of the Galaxy Note series but if you look at the video correctly it looks more of a professional kind of video like the story was made up of some sort it's not like something that would really happen in real life it kind of looks artificial or made up to me so just take a look at it once and you'll know and as far as digital marketing is concerned it's all about the interaction with the end user so you take a campaign online and you do it, you actually the campaign gets liver when people engage to it. So this is a classic example where in which I personally believe that Samsung have cooked up something and they wanted the users to bring up more content from the end user. But then does it happen? I don't really think so. So this is one of the questions which Raji Mishra, who is a VP of marketing Samsung India should look into. He can't just create one digital campaign thinking that it'll go live and make the world change. You should actually go deep inside think about the insights before even getting on board yeah and the other thing is that it looks like they've targeted the youth of the india and most of the youth are in studying college or they're doing degree or something like that and the price tag of the note 4 is around sixty thousand rupees i mean what kind of a student can afford a phone that costs sixty thousand rupees they should have targeted somebody who is in a top level fashion designing or creative people who are in a high level and are willing to shell out that much of money and the other thing is that if a student is able to shell out 60,000 rupees for a phone, why would he go for a Samsung Galaxy Note 4? He might as well go for an iPhone from Apple, which is considered much more posh for a student, which matters to the student because an iPhone is an iPhone. And now moving on to Micromax, which is a homegrown mobile manufacturer phone and is actually snapping the heels of Samsung. And the classic example of that is when Micromax decided to launch their Canvas Turbo series and got Hugh Jackman to be their brand ambassador. And Micromax USP stands uh, by targeting the young demographic and also making amazing phones uh, technologically at attractive prices. Yes, as you rightly said, uh, they actually make products which actually hits the end user properly. One of the classic examples which I would like to bring in over here is a couple of months back, they launched a phone called Micromax Unite. So one interesting aspect of this particular phone is that it embeds with 21 languages. When I say 21, it's 21 regional ethnic languages, which is actually really good. Considering that if you look into all the smartphones nowadays, it's only English as a language. So with giving 21 languages in a mobile phone, it actually enables even the local consumers to get into a smartphone and use it. This itself is a big leap for a company like Micromax, where in which they were able to sell over half a million phones in 60 days. So talking about the digital campaign regarding this, Micromax brought in a brilliant idea in which they actually composed a song from a Bollywood movie called Rangde Basanti, in which one of the song was taken and it was composed by many regional artists. So the beauty of the song is that you got the song starting with one language and ending with another language. It's brilliantly crafted such a way that it brings the unity, that, that proposition of Unite being uh, enriched through this video and it, it has become viral. So good luck with Micromax ad campaign. It is brilliantly executed and this is the way it should happen actually. Take the product, see the true essence of it and develop content based on that. With that, we can leverage 
the brand much more better and speaking of 21 languages mark zuckerberg recently came to india and spoke about how he wanted more developers to come up and make apps in the regional languages so that the reach can be as wide as possible and i feel if he tied up with micromax for this initiative he would get a brilliant result yeah i think that's a brilliant idea if they could tie up with htc and come up with phones like salsa and chacha they might as well tie up with micromax and do the tango so thank you for plugging in today hope to catch you next week on some other interesting trends and topics